Hey, Kevin. Yeah, Blake? I want to transfer all of my data from my old MacBook to my brand new MacBook. And I've got this external hard drive, but I don't know what to do next. Welcome back, tech heads. Kevin and Blake here. Okay, Kev, are you sure you can help me with this? Easy peasy. Just follow me. Let's do this. First thing you'll need to do is make a backup of your old MacBook on your external hard drive. So check out this tech-tastic video right here if you haven't already done so. And we'll show you the easiest and safest way to make one. Once you've created a backup, on your hard drive, open up your brand new MacBook. From the desktop screen, go to the magnifying glass right here and click on it. When the spotlight search bar opens, type in Migration Assistant. You should see this application right here. Click on it to open it. Once this window appears, go ahead and click continue right here. Your Mac may ask you for your MacBook password to confirm if you have one. From here, you'll be given three options to choose from. You can transfer your data from your Mac, a time machine backup, which we've already created, or a startup disk. You can transfer data from a Windows PC, as well as transfer data to another Mac, which we'll explain more in another video later, and link up right here when it's available. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can transfer from a Windows computer to a Mac? Yeah, it's super easy. Wow, oh, okay, well, hey, Comment below if you want to see how that works. I know I'd like to. For this method, since we're using a time machine backup, click on the first option right here and click continue. Your Mac will recommend you connect it to power, so we strongly recommend you do that as well. Your Mac will begin looking for your hard drive to transfer from. Hmm, yeah. Hey, Kev, I don't see my, my backup anywhere on here. Did you remember to plug your hard drive in, Blake? Oops. <laughs> yeah, Um. I, I got it. I'll, I'll plug it in now. Once your Mac locates your hard drive, after you plug it in, click on the icon right here, then click continue. From here, click on the latest backup and click continue. Once this window pops up, you can uncheck any data you don't want to transfer from your hard drive. Otherwise, leave everything checked on and click continue once again. Next, your Mac will make you set up a password for your new MacBook. Wait, but what 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 if what if I don't want a password? on my MacBook. Yeah, it's annoying, but don't worry. You can always turn it off later. Yeah, I guess that's true. So create a password and click continue when finished. And your Mac will begin transferring your data from your hard drive. But it's really important that while your data transfers, you check out this tech-tastic playlist right here to pass the time. 